Hello world, I'm Alex Nieva at Infusion Systems working with the IQBX line of products. We have received a lot of questions about how we set up our C laser to gesturally control an instrument on an iPad running GarageBand, for example. Today, I'm going to break down this setup for you. So let's get started. For this experiment, you need your YDIG, you need your battery, you need your C laser also your flash sensor and your reach for the sensor. What is the first thing to do? Connect all the sensors to the YD. In slot 1 we have the flash sensor, in slot 2 we have the reach for D, and uh, in slot 8 we have the laser drawing power from the YD. Let's connect it and wait for it to appear as a Bluetooth device in our computer. Let's go to the computer and look for that Bluetooth device. Here we are, and let's connect. So we are connected, and we have GarageBand open with a track waiting for MIDI messages. Now let's go to Editor X, and let's start from scratch. In slot 1, we have the flash sensor. So let's turn it on, and let's configure its input. So we're going to detect when I put my hand in front of the laser. So that means that I am going to uh, detect lower values or changes in lower value. So what I have to do, instead of sense continuously, I need to sense the inverted signal. And we have to look for dips, which is peak, and it changes to dip. And the end of that change, we have to also set the threshold inverted so we're going to lower this to 3, so whenever I go below 3, I'm going to get a signal. For this, I'm going to send MIDI messages related to node on. I'm going to send the node 60, and I am going to send it at velocity 125. So look at this. So when I put my hand in front of the laser, it sends it senses the dip and it sends a note on. But look, it doesn't matter where I put my hand and I want to control the pitch with my hand. So for that I'm going to use sensor 2. Let's turn it on and let's edit its parameters. This is a digital sensor so let's go to digital and let's choose the sensor. The sensor is the reach far D. We're going to use method 2. If you need more information or more methods, you can go to our website and look for the information on the reach for it. So, back into Editor X, for this, we're going to sense it continuously. This sensor can detect up to 1.3 meters for method 2. So, I'm going to um, constrain the reach of, uh, of the sensor by changing the minimum and maximum value. So I'm going to put this around 15, and this one around 5, so th that I can move my hand in this area. And also, I am going to send pitch band information. So let's try it out. There you go. That is how you use two sensors, one analog and one digital, to control pitch in GarageBand. Uh, I hope you liked this video, and we'll come back with more videos with other YDIG applications in the following weeks. Please stay tuned. Thank you.